what would you expect uh, about this, this match against Mexico? Yeah, we're expecting, you know, what will be probably a potentially our toughest test as a nation for, for many, many years. So, you know, uh, it's an important game for both countries, of course. Um, but we want to try and go top of the group on, on Friday night by getting a win. There are so many young players in Mexican squad. Uh, you, you think that that could be an opportunity for you? There, there's no Chicharito, there, there's no Ochoa. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, Mexico has a, a very big squad, of course. We, we know, I think everyone knows, the world knows that they haven't selected their strongest squad. But that could be a good thing or a bad thing. You know, some players are probably, again, their first opportunities, which are hungry and want to take it. Um, and sometimes those are the ones who can cause you a, a lot of problems because you don't really can't really study them as players but regardless they have a big pool of players to pick to some world-class players still in the squad and we expect it to be like I said our, our toughest game to date but we're preparing as well as we possibly can. You defeat Panama that that was a, a big step for you? Yeah it was you know um, you know many many didn't think we could go down to Panama and get a result we believed within ourselves that that was possible after facing them here um, knowing that they were still vulnerable and the, 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 the result could have gone a different way, but they were the better side on the day and we knew we could probably catch them off guard, not expecting us to, to turn up in, in a better fashion and, and we was, was able to get the win. What can you tell us about uh, Bermuda's uh, soccer, uh, about the organization, about the players? There's a, a semi-pro team, but, but you and, and, and other players uh, go to, to another countries. Yeah, I mean it's, it's it's a small island, of course. You know, we we have a lot of talented, naturally gifted players that you know probably aren't recognised on the world stage of football. But it's a lot of talent here. You know, there'll be plenty of players in our squad that Mexico will have no clue about just because you won't be able to find them and where they play. They're the local players, but we're talented. And then we have a, a core players that are overseas playing professionally, um, like myself and. We're the ones who try and bring that professional experience, um, that that know-how, and, and try and bring it all together and, and help us all pull it together. But we've got some very good players that probably don't get the credit they deserve. They're very gifted technically, and we just have to try and overcome the odds on the weekend. This Nations League, it's a good chance for teams like like Bermudas to get to know about all the, the rest of CONCACAF teams? Of course, you know, we, we only dreamed of playing fixtures like this, you know, six, seven months ago before we qualified for the Girl Cup. So that was, you know, our first achievement of that in, in many, many years, I believe. And, you know, I think we represented ourselves co good. We, we could have done better, of course, and possibly um, made it out the group, which would have been a great achievement. You know, we came up a little short, but that gave us the belief that we could compete with big nations, um, potentially beat big nations. And we took that into the Panama game and was able to pull off a shock, a shock defeat, which we knew within ourselves that was possible. Um, and the next two fixtures are, are as, as, as tough as they get. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.